What's up, YouTube? Another show, another game to discuss. Cavaliers, Golden State Warriors, <clears throat> Game 3 matchup. And man, no love, no problem. Not gonna lie, did not expect that to happen. I mean, that was like, that was a blowout among blowouts. I didn't think, honestly, as you can tell in my, uh, my, my preview video for Game 3, I thought the Warriors were going to go up 3-0. That didn't happen. And I'll tell you the biggest thing that I saw in the difference between the Cavaliers uh, of Game 3 versus Game 2 and 1, the defensive rotations. The Golden State Warriors were not getting those open looks that they're accustomed to getting. There were, so, there, there were more turnovers. Uh... Kyrie Irving was engaged. J.R. Smith was engaged on both sides of the of the ball. Uh, Channing Frye even had um, some impact in terms of defense and rebounding. And Tristan Thompson, man, whew, whew, he was a beast on the boards. And that's I've said this throughout the entire playoffs. That's how you beat the Golden State Warriors is dominating the rebounds. He they, there were so many second chance opportunities for Tristan Thompson because of his rebounding abilities. I think he got 13 or 14 rebounds. He had double digit points. And he just he, he just abused uh the the Warriors front court or, or excuse me, the front court. So he earned his money in that game. Now if he can do that for another uh for the rest of the series, whew, this could be very competitive. But first of all, I gotta give credit to Uncle Drew. Welcome to the finals, baby. Welcome to the finals. This was really the first time in this series that Kyrie Irvin went specifically at uh Stephen Curry. He got he got him in foul trouble early and he was getting buckets left and right. He was putting Stephen Curry on skates. And that's what and that that, that was kind of funny to see because usually Stephen Curry's doing that to other people. But uh Kyrie Irving went straight at uh Stephen Curry so that was huge. He got him in foul trouble. Kind of made him ineffective for the throughout the entire game. Kudos to uh, LeBron James getting 32 points. He showed up. His jumper was not great, but it was better. I thought he attacked the the, the um, I thought he attacked the rack effectively. Used his size. I thought he shot uh, without hesitation when he had open looks. It, it was it was something to see. It was something to see. So kudos to uh, King James and Kyrie Irving and J.R. Smith. Whew. I have clowned this man. I have I have flamed this man. Congratulations, J.R. Smith. You, you did good on the defensive side of the ball, and you actually got to the rack. And that's what I've been saying you have to do. You have to get in the paint and get those floaters, get those easy layups, because you have the, build, the ability to get to the rack. You can create your own shot. And guess what? When you got to the rack, your jumpers started falling. I mean, you you were you were special. You were special. I believe you had 20 points. Congratulations! So I thought you were MIA. I thought you were with Melo at some nightclub in New York. But guess what? You showed up to the finals along with the Uncle Drew. So congratulations! Now, I I was thinking about this last night after the Warriors game. After after the game, <sighs> Stephen Curry and Clay Thompson haven't really had great series either this year or last year when they won and i'm just wondering if we're going to be as a society fair and uniform in terms of our criticism why isn't stephen curry kind of not being uh flamed like other mvps would be if they were had if they had his performance through three games because if lebron james had had won the mvp unanimous mvp by the way and he had the kind of game the points that stephen curry had we'd be saying why isn't this man showing up to play? I'm just asking questions, you know. To this point, Stephen Curry and Klay Thompson haven't showed up in terms of their ability would suggest. You know, they haven't gotten 27 points. They haven't gotten 30 points. They haven't gotten 40 points. So I'm just wondering, where, 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 where's the criticism if we're going to be fair as a society? Which, you know, I guess I answered my own question. Society isn't really fair, so, yeah. But I, 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 just, I just thought that was curious. Now, what do the Warriors have to do to bounce back? Andrew Bogut, you got to be a beast on the boards. You got to get those easy layups that you can get. And I I'm not going to take anything away from what the Cavaliers did in terms of defense. But the Warriors missed a lot of shots that 
usually they typically make. So um, they got to they got to get back in rhythm because they started out the entire the, the entire first four minutes of the, of the of the first quarter off. They were cold as cold stone. So they got to they got to get buckets. They got to hit their shots. Now, I'm not taking away because they I thought the, the Cavaliers did a great job defensively, but the, the Warriors were really cold. You could tell. And that may be a function of have them just being out of rhythm and a function of the, the Cavaliers having a great defensive performance. Now, I, 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 I don't want to overreact. I don't, I don't want to be a prisoner of the moment, if you will. But this could be this, this could be a series now. I'm not sure yet. I got to see how they respond in game game four. But we could have a series on our hands. I think now... The Warriors will have to make some adjustments, and I think they'll, they'll they will because Steve Kerr, I think, is a very good coach. And I'm, I'm curious to see how Game Four is. I, I'm not sure if it's going to be a competitive series where it's going to go seven, um, but I, I, I'm not as confident as I was was of the Warriors winning the series. So I, I'm happy about that too because I want to see a competitive series. So let me know what you guys think about Game Three. Tell me about your thoughts about LeBron James's performance. Uh, Uncle Drew finally showing up. J.R. Smith getting buckets. Finally, uh, tell me what you think about my uh, the 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 uh, I guess the criticism I have of Clay Thompson and Stephen Curry not showing up to their fullest potential in back to back finals so far. So far, tell me, do you think that's a valid argument, especially when uh, Stephen Curry is back to back MVPs? And just uh, leave other comments about something that maybe I forgot about that you thought was a a, a huge turning point in the uh, in Game Three for the Cavaliers. Anyway. Thanks for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Letterist Sports Show. Can't wait for Game 4. Now we got a series. Woo!